I'm Bottles. My name is G. <laughs> uh, Luak Bar. Thanks for finishing. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Thanks. I could always rely on you. All right, let's go down here. Oh, that was pretty climactic. And by that I mean lame as fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you for that opinion. I, I really could have, uh, did better with the, you know, breaking my neck strat. Is this like when, you know, Joe fell over and couldn't get up, and we had to like drag him huh. across your house <laughs> and here. blow out the back of your, you know, condo that you lived in that one time? Yes, this is exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> that reminded me of something. I, I, I hear what you mean. My friend Joe is this voracious, fat, black man, but I love him because he's not black, it's actually English. Yeah, if he was black, we wouldn't like him. Yeah, because we're racist fucks. <laughs> the first week! I picked it up for how deli- Ooh. I just can't believe, like, we met a fat, 300-pound English man online, named him after coffee, and then shipped him to the United States. <laughs> we did name lazy. him after coffee. Well, I did. Yeah. He hated it at first. I know he did. But then he just kind of like owned up to it. And then he likes it. Yeah. He's just Java. It's just that's just his name. I remember when me and me and Joe actually had like our own little podcast going for a while that we never posted. That's cute. Yeah, it was called Bottles of Java. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny, man. That's like before GCN. That was great, man. Yeah. Oh my lord. We had some pretty funny moments on there. It's just the thing was like I was really interested in having like segments, but that kind of like broke the flow of the show mm -hmm. at times. So it was just kind of like. The one time me and Joe um, did a stream together, <laughs> and one of the things we did was create our own Sonic fan character. It was pretty glorious. Joe's a really funny guy, to be completely honest. Oh, yeah. He, he says some really funny shit. He's hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, a surprising find. I love the one time where, uh... Well. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I forgot. Let me switch chapters. Yep. So chapter two added nothing <laughs> to the counter. All right. Uh, I remember the one time when, uh, what are you doing? I'm progressing. I didn't think you would survive that. I, I actually thought you were going to die horribly. Now I am. Goodbye. <gasps> I couldn't get up. It's okay. Um, I remember the one time when Joe went to uh, Subway, mm -hmm. you know, because he's a voracious eater. <laughs> and he literally asked for like every single fucking cookie that they had in the display case. And the guy's like, oh, Would you like anything else? And he's like, Yeah, I'll take some cookies. And he's like, Well, well how many do you want? And he's like, uh, I think I'll take 20. And he's like, 20 cookies? Like he was in such fucking disbelief. Uh, I, I remember that, like right after that happened, I'm like, you took 20 cookies from Subway? Are you fucking serious? Uh, like, he had so much Whoop. fucking cheddar to burn. And he was just like, yeah, I guess I'll just spend it at Subway. And then he complained for the rest of the vacation that he had, what the fuck? That he had no money. <laughs> now, you see, when it says sway from side to side, you gotta realize that uh, you gotta sway from side to side. I was, though. No. Sway. Sway. Alright, jump. There we go. Why am I holding this? I don't know. <laughs> Ant, you cock teeth. I'm still climbing. Oh, my ass hurts like hell. Well, maybe I shouldn't have fucked it so You long. should upgrade these seats with all the money you rake in from doing GCM. Yeah, all two dollars. Oh, <laughs> that I can't even collect yet. That's all right. This video will push us over the edge. Oh yeah, well, yeah. this one in particular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Some like the videos that we do get like the most views on are like the weirdest shits that like why? Oh, oh that was pretty weird. Or like like the weirdest shits. You mean like, like the code name Kids Next Door one that has like five hundred? 
<laughs> and you refuse to play that game because you can't play children's games. Fuck that game. It's such an easy game. It's so much fun. No. We have to finish playing that one day. I love that fucking game. We'll, we'll revisit it. Yes, man. <laughs> please. I want to play that game, honestly. And actually beat it. The game was so much fun. It still is so much fun. I love that game. Do you remember that uh, Ben 10 game they used to have where it was, like, actually a fucking game and you had to, like, collect these cards to unlock uh, all do. the different aliens? Do you remember that one Lilo and Stitch game where you made giant sandwiches? No. Oh, no? You never played that game? What about, I, I, uh, I actually haven't played anything like much other than like that one Ben 10 game and then uh, like any game on Nick, Nick.com. Uh, Nick.com, I used to play this one game. It was uh, modeled after Mr. Meaty mm -hmm. and it was uh, called Mr. Meaty Friar of the Deep. And you had to try and like dive as deep as you could down to the bottom of, uh, of the Deep Friar. And you had to try okay. and snag, like, the nastiest things out of, like, the deepest parts of the fryer and then reel them back up. Mm -hmm. It was really hard, though, because, like, if you ran into anything going down, you would either nab it or pull it back up, or it would be a trap and you would get nothing. And then after you caught it, you had to avoid hazards on your way back up so you didn't lose it. Mm -hmm. So, like, you could avoid the hazards and get all the way down to the bottom and get something really awesome, like a cyborg eye. And then, like, you could just lose it because you crash into hazards and it, like, knocks it loose. That sucks. Who? Like, oh, uh, well, I missed. You're fine. Oh. Well. That was nice. I heard, I heard it screaming, though. Oh, God, no! Oh, what was it? Beautiful. You know Mr. Meaty's actually not like a very well liked show I love that show a lot of people hate that show honestly I love it because it's bizarre oh yeah that's exactly why people hate it because it was like really fucking weird and creepy I'm like that's exactly why I love it yeah I enjoyed it they had some really funny moments in that show honestly yeah and just like really creepy shit like when they summon Satan out of a jar of protein powder yeah 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 that yeah. was really funny oh that I love that episode. Or like, um... I when, wish... When they, when they unfreeze their boss. Yeah, know? it was like the first episode. The boss was like frozen inside the meat locker, and they like thaw him out. And you realize that he's like, he's literally an evil mastermind. Yeah. Dude, like so many moments in that show that I just love. It's like, I, lo I loved how bizarre that show was. The one episode that creeped me the fuck out was the one with the cyborg. When the cyborg took over uh, Parker's brain. You remember that? No, nah, The I cyborg don't. employee? That was a creepy fucking episode, man. The episode that I will never forget, which is also the one a lot of people, like, kind of remember just because of how, like, disgusting it was, was the, uh... The tapeworm one? Yeah. I have a tapeworm. Where, like, they, like, filmed him eating something. And it, like, was... And it, like, disappeared, but then, like, they slowed down the footage, and they showed the worm coming out of his mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> and don't call him Porker. Huh. Now, where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? Shumba. <laughs> we don't talk about that here. Yeah, that's in the next game. That is a pretty cool watch, though. Yeah. I like how he actually owns a watch that's completely waterproof, you know? Which yeah, is, like, impossible. It's pretty good. No, it's not. There are waterproof watches. There's water-resistant watches, I found out, but there's no thing as, like, waterproof watches. Like, there are watches that can, like, resist moisture up to, like, a certain amount of, like, meters. But the, they're, they can never be completely waterproof. That's weird. It's because a watch isn't, like, airtight. It's not like a watch is, like, inside of a vacuum, you know? That is true. That is true. Because if it was, then the clock hands wouldn't be able to, move. to work yeah. correctly. Yeah, the components are, like, they're too, they're too, like, fine, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all of the gears and the springs, like, you can't, like, put them under any kind of pressure or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You just seal it really well, but even then, Good. shit still gets through it. Water-resistant watches are meant for, like, you know, like, surviving a, a few hundred hand washings, but they're not actually meant for, like, you to swim with them on. Mm-hmm. 
And then Nathan found that one. Oh, hey, can I shoot you? Can I stick my dick in it? <laughs> That's weird, Mike. In the captain's uh, quarters. <laughs> Necrophilia. <laughs> I watched this movie Hemophilia. where like the the premise of the movie was that this girl went to a party, had sex with some dude, and then contracted some sort of disease. Oh, when she turns into a zombie and she slowly starts rotting away? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that a shit movie? Oh my god, it's it was. What was it called? Like contracted or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that movie. And she goes to fuck the guy at the end and her fucking vagina's full of maggots. Yeah. That was ridiculous. That movie was so bad. Her friends and her family did not do anything aggressive to help her. Mm -mm. She was literally rotting away, laying in a pool of her own blood. Her eyes became gotcha. filled with blood. And no one did anything. Yeah. Sully, that, you're not like, gonna believe this. I remember I watched that I movie I with uh, Jess on Netflix. Looks like Drake and, our and it was like, you know, I was actually, I like, legitimately interested in the movie. Because I'm like, what the fuck is happening to her? And then it, the ending came where it shows that she's a zombie. Yeah, I thought that like, she was possessed. Yeah. By a ghost. Sully? Something. And then it showed that she was a zombie. I'm like, Sullivan. oh, she was turning into a zombie. Well, that's dumb. And then she just goes to attack some police officers, and I'm pretty sure she just gets shot and killed. And it's, like, all because some... The guy she fucked was a necrophiliac. Like, that fucking makes sense. Yeah, and he didn't get infected. Yeah, right? It's just... He fucking stuck his dick into a dead whore and pushed it onto another bitch. And somehow made her into a zombie. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's I don't really know how uh, torpedoes function, but... Like he said, that probably is very good. No. It means it's about to fucking go. I like the way they do shit like that. How, like, when someone's running away and the camera's, like, right behind them, bobbing up and down as they're running. I yeah, like that. yeah. It just looks really cool. Like, oh, shit, we're fucked. It really kind of, like, creates the tension. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Fuck you. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. Friends of yours, Sully? Slippery bastard. How you doing, yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Easy. Put your hands up. Right. We're playing on normal difficulty. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. That's honestly pretty stupid on Sully's part. Yeah. For saying anything to anyone. Especially after he said, We should ditch Elena because she might tell someone. You know what I mean? Like, that's really stupid on Sully's part. Yeah. I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Kriegs Marine map have to do with El Dorado? What? You think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So, we're square? For now. I think we're more of a rhombus. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with... Sully! My fucking heart? Sully! You son of a bitch! Oh, there goes that torpedo we saw. Perfect. There's like one guy on there. Yeah. I don't know. It's your choice to count it. I don't know. I mean, Drake didn't kill him. The torpedo did. Oh! Uh, not that Whoa! way. <laughs> I got away. They're not yeah, shooting at me anymore. Brilliant job of getting away. <laughs> Thank you. That's one. Okay. Well, uh, I'll write that down. Is this chapter two, uh, three? This still? is chapter three still. Okay. There's one notch. Well, it's all. Here, let me let me have a little crack of lack. Okay. Here. You go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll take the helm of counting. Whoa there, 
cowboy. Oh, hi, Elena. Uh, that counts. That's my dignity. Oh, he's like holding his face like, what are you doing? Well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God. Yeah, and this is about to happen about six more times throughout the series. Of course. Especially in Uncharted 3. Right, come on. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You see, Drake dies in this game. Oh, does he? He <laughs> said he dies in 4. Get ready! <laughs> running and gun. I love running and gun combos, man. They're effective. You counted all those, right? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I got you, fam. Good, good. Was that a treasure? No. There he is. He's dead. Uh, how do I know? Okay, that's it. What is it, the trigger? It's, uh, it's R2. He doesn't have a neck. Mm, apparently not. Oh, there's a treasure over here, though. Sexy. <laughs> yeah, right? That was pretty uh, in plain okay. sight. You know? Yeah, I follow. Nothing. Oops. Oh, say goodbye to your children. <laughs> Any children that you may have. Your strap. What, run and gun? Run gun up to them and then fucking annihilate them. Well, that, that's called uh, the steel fist combo, where uh, you weaken someone with run and gun, and then they're weak enough so you can instant kill them with a melee attack. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It seems pretty effective. I love doing it, it's fun as hell. You're not allowed to go up ladders. Sometimes, though, you know, other times, like, you really don't want to get out of cover, especially later on in the game. Mm -hmm. But right now, in the beginning of the game, it doesn't really matter too much. He's all right. You are dead. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit you. He knew he was gonna die. Sweet trope. That's a lot of people here. I bet. Sweet ring. Oh, goodbye. Take it out of your head.
I thought he was still alive. Whoa! Sweet headshot. Good job. Oi. Hello there. Uh, goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Keep breathing. <laughs> He's over there. Oh. I'm doing anything stupid. I might die. Oh god. Yeah, that's fine. I'll hide here. Everything's good. Now it hurts. For the most part. Pretty sure that that's the last of them. That's it. Yeah. Do you want your count for that encounter? Oh, uh, hold on. Let's get to the cutscene. All right. I feel like it was a lot, honestly. I feel like there were a lot of people that I just killed. That was 24 people. Wow, that's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. How the fuck do you kill that many people? Add that to the total E. So that the bastards can sell it, damn it. The Spanish found the treasure. They had to move it there to that island. Drake followed them. Well, what are we waiting That's not an island, that's a hole in the map, Drake. Oh shit. And she just like destroyed the map after she like did that. Disintegrates just Yeah, fuck. Well shit. Game over, credits roll. Da, da, da. We're on the trail of the lost treasure of El Dorado, and it's brought us here to this tiny island in the middle to the water. of the Pacific Ocean. Let's get a closer look. I'm my hands are first, bitch. Will we discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does so, I'm going to be the first one to say, Miss Twist is a scam. What do you mean? Because what this is supposed to be is it's just what like Sierra Mist with like more lemon, I guess. At least that's what I assume it's supposed to be. But to me, it's just Sierra Mist. You know? Okay, I guess so. I think it's a, it's because it's caffeine free and it has a splash of real juice. Oh shit! I could put in more than just a splash of real juice if I go in my fridge and just pour lemon juice. In <laughs> I I I think we told you about this. How uh, for one of me and Pete's streams, one of the challenges we had to do is uh, or like one of the dares I had Pete do was I had to go to my fridge and make a concoction of like three or more things. And I made a concoction. Ketchup mayonnaise. <laughs> I made it, I just wanted to do all liquid shit just cause it was easier and faster. So I did half and half iced tea lemonade, uh, diet cranberry ginger ale, or it's cranberry ale. Uh, and a shitload of lemon juice. Gave it to Peter, and he's like, this isn't half bad. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you serious? He's like, yeah, actually, try it. I'm like, I tried it. It was pretty good. I was like, huh. And Pete, like, literally the rest of the day was like, we should sell this. <laughs> we should sell this. That's hilarious. I'm like, all right, cool. Though I don't, I don't think we should sell it because he started drinking it more like when we were playing like FNAF World, like after that podcast, and he started to, he started saying that his chest was hurting. Oh God, palpitations. 
So I'm like, maybe we shouldn't sell this. It's a cool landing. Yeah. Still got the gun. What are we missing? Map. An explosion. Well, we're going to continue this next time. My name is Gene. And my name is Bottles. And uh, Nate and Drake is essentially describing the situation, so we don't have to.